Well, he puts his chances at 100% that I will indeed pass out in my own filth tonight. <laughs> but also that there's life on a newly discovered planet. I speak of a California astronomer who announced that he's found a livable planet just 20 light years away. That's only a short 120 trillion miles, but who's got time to make the trip with Halloween coming up mm -hmm. and all? So let's ask somebody who's already been there. It's time once again to talk to... Odorous Urungus, he's Gore's lead singer and Red Eyes interplanetary correspondent. Gore's new album comes out November 9th. It's called Bloody Pit of Horror. Yeah. Ah, great. That's a great name. Yeah, I stole it from an Italian horror film. Ah, well, at least you're being honest. Yeah, I mean, I just thought it sounded cool. I mean, the Bloody Pit of Horror will pretty much accompany us on this entire tour, and our <laughs> fans will make it themselves. Oh, fantastic. Aww. Hey, before we get to the space stuff, we, uh, last night we did a segment on songs that make men cry, the most popular being R.E.M.'s Everybody Hurts. Are you surprised by that finding? Well, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I'd expect from the humans, a sappy, stupid song, but not, not what, actually, that song makes me laugh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Both, <laughs> they laugh, I cry. Now, a song that makes me cry would have to be, I'd say, Happy Birthday. Yeah. That is just, like, reminds me of all the work I have to do. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? All the people you have to kill. Yes, yes, I mean, every, every birthday that has been attained is uh, another life that has to be snuffed out, but, yeah. except for you, of course, Bill. Oh, yeah. God bless you, Otis. You know, um, um, uh, this new planet, uh, you've been there? Oh, yeah, yeah. The planet Prostrate. Yeah. <laughs> or is that prostate? Oh, yeah. The birthplace of the famous disease, which I also created. The locals were wiped out by this. Actually, not wiped out by the disease so much as my forced examinations. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> You know, I wanted to, I wanted, I got a few questions from the Red Eye Robots, uh, and I want to go to the first one. Uh, is he there? Let's go. Hello, Mr. Urungus. I am a big fan. Saw you in Toronto in 89, and you threw up on my wife. She's dead now. Anyway, what does Odorous do to give back to the community? Is he a big brother? Does he go to PTA meetings? Does he recycle? Well, that's a wonderful question, and actually, it does remind me of a couple of social programs I have. First of all, I'd like to point out that toilet paper yeah. is one of the most unrecycled things in the entire universe. When you wipe your... Yeah. There is a whole area around the edge that is pretty much undamaged. Really? Now, if you don't... If you use that, it's a tree or something. Yes. Right? So yes. I'm trying to do the odorous uh, recycle used toilet paper program. That's but that's really... really Compared with my social program to give sex to elderly people who are wheelbound or wheelchair about stuck in their houses. I mean, these people still have sexual desires. That's why I've started the Odious Rungus Feels on Wheels program. <laughs> Very nice. Oh. You truly are a saint. Yes, wow. our work release inmates will go to houses, feel up your grandma, <laughs> go through her stuff, you know, whatever. They're terrible. <laughs> All right, I'm going uh, to go to another question from a robot. I like that. Hello, Odorous. Great meeting you last summer. The sex was awesome, and the crack cocaine was ever better. So, why do most alien abduction stories include anal probes? Are aliens worried about Earth's prostates, or are they just freaks? That's a great question. Yeah, that actually links to some other things I was talking about before. But one of the things about outer space, the human race is highly underdeveloped. In outer space, most of the creatures have evolved beyond the need of having to have a separate b-hole and a mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? No, I'm just, it makes me think. It makes me think. It yeah. kind of explains your breath, too. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm just going to stop talking about this because I'm just going to bleep the whole thing. Yeah. All right, then we have one last question from one of our robots. These robots are creepy! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Urungus. I'm a big fan. I own all your albums, plus some of your discarded underwear. Now if we were to find intelligent life on other planets, and they turn out to be delicious, would it be okay to eat them? After all, we eat pigs, which are earthlings. Mm, that's a good question, don't you think? Yeah, I've eaten all kinds of creatures from all over the universe, but he has got a... Uh, problem here, I do not wear underwear. So yes. if he thinks that he's got my used underwear, he's probably got <laughs> Divine's underwear or something. That yes, exactly. It was so many false bill of goods. Hey, um, uh, before, I want to ask you, you got some pretty big news coming he's up. such a pro. <laughs> what, 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 what? You've got some uh, big news coming up. Oh, yeah, we've got all kinds of great stuff. Well, first of all, all you human scum, I want to remind you, our new album, Bloody Pit of Horror, is out on November 8th. 
And then, oh yeah, we are actually going to be, someone else is letting us on their television show. Can you believe that? <laughs> this is not a television show. Yeah, it'll probably <laughs> be the last time this ever happens, but we're going to be appearing on the Jimmy Fallon show. Uh, some dog, on Fallon. Uh, uh, Jimmy, Fallon. Jimmy yeah. Fallon, excuse me. <laughs> Fallon in Wonderland. It's going to be hilarious. But anyway, yes. Uh, November 28th, the whole band will be on, and uh, they're going to let us play a song. Do you believe that? No. Is it what? October. Oh, October 28th. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at this plugging stuff. But. Sure you are, but not in this sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah you plug oh, them. You told me that your, your news was that you were pregnant. Oh, well, that happens all the time, and basically oh. it's hard to tell a bowel movement and an odorous <laughs> love child apart. <laughs> You know, on that note, I think we're going to take a, we're going to move on. You know, Otis, it's always a pleasure having you show. Congratulations on being on Jimmy Fallon. That's awesome. It hasn't and, happened yet. So. I know, I know, but it will. And uh, uh, Guar's official website is guar.net. We're going to take a break. Coming up next, mail time. Gar.